Hi, this is Dr. Pacini. Today I want to talk about all the so-called scientists and doctors who are refuting what our president is doing and saying. Number one, the president of the United States has the right to say exactly what he wants. If he believes hydro, uh, hydroxychloroquine works, that's fine. It does work if some people don't have the side effects. It turns out, as I said before, that I took Zithromax and it worked for a pneumonia that I had in January. What does not work is the CDC, FDA, HHS, and we've been over that. Then there's a new entity that comes in, the so-called representative of science and medicine, Dr. Patricia Harris, the first African-American woman to head up the American Medical Association. For those of you who want to know something about me, I never belonged to the AMA. I would never join the AMA. It's a corrosive, corrupt institution that has no basis in science. But, but Dr. Patricia Harris nevertheless was arrogant to say, oh, the president doesn't know what he, he's doing. He does know what he's doing. In fact, he's pumping in money into the administration. He's recommending hydroxychloroquine. He's recommending Zithromax, whatever works. And we don't have the time, eight months to one year, to figure out what's going to work. But Patricia Harris, who happens to be board certified in psychiatry, would have failed if I, the board examiner, had asked her this question. Tell me exactly Exactly how opioid works and tell me exactly how people got addicted and why is it that you and many other psychiatrists created a whole opioid crisis where 400,000 people died thanks to Oxycontin and the Sackler family and Purdue Pharmacy and 2 million heroin addicts were created. I don't think she could answer that and I think I would have busted her. In turn, I just want to thank Dr. Uh, all those physicians who, like myself, have used uh, hydroxychloroquine and or Zithromax or Cipro. The basic point is that clinicians are based on an art. It's not necessarily a science. Certainly psychiatry is not a science. It's an art. And the President of the United States is doing the best he can do given the situation. He's working basically 24-7. He hasn't stopped. He keeps working. His children are working. His wife is working. That's a hell of a lot more, I could say, for Obama and Bush Jr. and the Clintons who raped our administration and did absolutely nothing. Let me explain something to you. We will eventually have what you want, the cure. There's a, uh, a uh, flu, anti-flu vaccine that's developed by Fujiyama in Japan called Avigan, A-V-I-G-A-N. It's a medication, it's a vaccine, whatever way they want to distribute it, that will hit the Ebola virus, that will hit the uh, flu and the coronavirus. The Japanese are way ahead of us. It was tried in Wuhan and it works. But we don't have that kind of time right now to wait a year or two years. The president is correct to say, now is the time to try all the drugs that we think might work. Let me give you a little clue. We still don't know how aspirin works. And if aspirin has never had a controlled study, we wouldn't have had aspirin, and we've never had a controlled study on aspirin. By the way, the flu vaccine that everybody is mandated to take every year is worthless. And that's the same CDC that creates that flu vaccine that's worthless. So let's give Trump a, 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 some recognition and let's support him. Let's support Jared Kushner. Let's support Mnuchin who has done an excellent job of providing the cash flows for doctors, dentists, and others who cannot work at this point or have to dismiss all of their workers. Remember, America is a great country. Trump has said, make America great. And that's what he's going to do and that's what he believes in. So leave him alone and mind your own business. Thank you and good luck. Oh, again, I forget. I have an audio book of the American Warrior in Crisis. If you want to spend some good time and listen to it, I'd appreciate it. But other than that, I always forget to mention it. Thank you. Bye.